Houston's Helpful Hits is brought to you by Jimmy Houston High Tech Performance Fishing Rods. What's the secret of being able to fish in really heavy cover, heavy trees, getting your bait all down in that stuff looking for those giant bass and not get hung up very much? Well, quite honestly, it's a Texas rig. This is an old way to fish plastic worms and lizards and crawls, but it's one of the most effective ways that you can fish in really, really heavy cover. And one of the secrets that we have nowadays that we didn't used to have was tungsten weight. What I've got on here today is a little quarter ounce, and you can move down to even smaller than that if you want, but a little quarter ounce. Uh, Rocky Brook tungsten weight and and the big deal on this is it's very very small it's about half the size of a normal tongue of a normal lead weight so that allows it to go through that brush quicker it's a little thicker I mean a little slicker and so it'll go through and slide through that brush the other thing is how you rig your plastic worm now I'm fishing a little crawl right here and when you rig that worm you do not want to put your plastic worm hook, you hook you too far down into the head of the worm. Only about a quarter inch is really all you need to do. Come up here and make sure you've got it real straight. Now, the way we used to fish a, a Texas rig plastic worm, we simply stuck the hook right back in and fished it like this. And that'll work just fine. But here's a much more effective way. Go down to about to where the bend in that hook is. Put your thumb right there. Stick the point of that hook straight through. Not in an angle, but straight through. Now you can come up to the top of that, that uh, plastic worm or lizard or crawl and skin hook that bait back in it, right like that. Now that's a perfectly straight bait, and once you put your tungsten weight down there on top of it, you've got a perfect rig to fish weedless in really, really heavy cover. Now here's the other thing. When you feel that bait hit something, don't pull hard or don't tug straight against it. Kind of shake your rod tip just a little bit. Shake your rod tip and get it to float over and move over and come over that brush. Once it moves over that brush and falls, that is exactly when those big bass will bite that bait. Well, it's late in the day and the sun's getting low. Caught me a big one, but I let it go. I sure had fun just watching him stretch my line. Jimmy.